Hi, I'm Sean Gannon. This is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about <clears throat> one step inequalities. And we're going to solve each inequality and graph its solution. And so if we're given this inequality, 8 is greater than or equal to n minus 6. Okay? My first step is to get the 6 over to the left. So I'm going to add a 6 to both sides. Let's isolate that n. 8 plus 6 is 14. So we have 14 is greater than or equal to n. Let's rewrite this, have n come first n is less than or equal to 14. The way I, the way I always remember to do that, uh, when you flip it, you have to flip the inequality as well, and make sure the pointy part <laughs> is towards the n and the open part is towards the number. All right, keep the equal to sign. So they're the same thing, but written at first, n is less than or equal to 14. Let's grab our number line here. Now let's go 14 right there, why not? And let's go 16, 18, I like one by two sometimes, 20, 12. Not 20, 12, but 10 and 8. Okay, back to this. So n is less than or equal to 14. We're going to put, since it's equal to a closed circle at 14. And we're going to draw to the left, because it's less than the arrow. And there we have it. We have our, our graph that matches our inequality of n is less than or equal to 14. So let's recap here. We have 8 is greater than or equal to n minus 6. I'm going to add a 6 to both sides to get n by itself. So we have 14 is greater than or equal to n, which is the same thing as if you flip it, n is less than or equal to 14. Make sure you flip the inequality as well. So then I needed to graph that. So I started at 14. I made a closed circle because of that equal to sign. I then needed a shade to the left because it's less than. And so the less than, uh, the arrow to the left matches up the less than sign. And so this graph here gives me uh, matches up with my final answer which is n is less than or equal to 14.